When the Great Recession hit, Arizona schools suffered. State lawmakers eventually cut nearly $1 billion per year of spending on K-12 education. One of those cuts was not raising district budgets to account for annual inflation. In 2010, some school districts sued, claiming that was illegal. As Arizona's economy recovered, educators sued the state to recoup money slashed from their budgets in the recession, and the courts agreed. To end the legal battle, Governor Doug Ducey proposed Proposition 123, which added several billion dollars to public education. Here's Ducey in an ad. When it comes to public education, Arizona has a lot of great stories to tell, but we can do a better job of supporting our teachers. That's why I'm voting yes on Prop 123 on May 17th. The proposition was in large part funded by the state's century-old land trust and was narrowly passed by voters in 2016. But funding for schools still fell far below earlier levels. A year later, the legislature enacted a law that would effectively allow many more parents to siphon money from public schools to help fund private school costs for their kids. Opponents started a referendum drive that succeeded in letting voters decide this November whether to allow that law to remain on the books. The focus on public education funding reached critical mass this spring when tens of thousands of teachers and their supporters marched on the state capitol demanding higher pay and more funds for their schools. Ducey helped end the unprecedented walkout by proposing and pushing through the legislature a pay raise that will deliver nearly 20% pay increases to some teachers by 2020. Still, school funding remains about $700 million per year under what it used to be 10 years ago. 